Hello everyone, Useful Engine 11 here, and today I'm back again with another custom video. So guys, today we are going to be taking a look at my two um, painted box cars that were from the Paint and Play pack that I bought um, about a few about a few days ago. So um, so guys, um, they were based off of this box car here with the shock face. Um, yeah, these ones don't have faces, but, like, I'm thinking about, like, making these, like, faces, like, these ones are going to have faces, so, like, there'll be times where they'll have faces, there are times where they're not gonna have faces, like, unlike this one, I'm not gonna glue it, the face on, I'm gonna, like, use sticky tack to stick faces on, you know, so they can face forward, face backwards, or not have a face at all, so, yeah, they're basically based off of this one. And it makes for a very nice, um, long train, if you can see. But, in any case, so, let's move this one out of the way, because we've already taken a look at this one in the past. So, let's move on to these ones. So, let's scooch one out of the way, since they're basically the same, but they both have a different origin story when you think about, when I think about it. But, anyways, guys, so, um, first I painted the roof in a nice acrylic black paint. And then I went to this, and then I went to my local Dollar Tree. I have the paint around here somewhere. Um, here it is, and um, a night like, let's see, <laughs> like I painted it in this type of brown color, and it looks pretty cool. And I used my acrylic black paint, and and with uh, a few coat of paint few coats of paint and a little bit and a little bit of effort I got this and then the side detailing is all sharpie on each side and the buffers and the coupling chain this I need to make this coupling a bit bigger but oh well so yeah and of course there's still got the magnets the little things on the top here the little metal things and of course underneath is the, you can see the clear wood um I think I mean, since these things, I mean, it's nice that they have, like, the, like, um, these numbers. I think I'm gonna scratch those out. Um, I probably should put, I could put box card for the more realistic, like, maybe making an actual, like, wooden railway toy, but, nah. I think I might just scratch those off, so let's move, and let's take a look at this one. Um, same thing, um, some things didn't turn out perfect, but, overall, I'm pretty proud of I'm very proud of it. Um, so yeah, let's put these together. So yeah, now I have more box cars, like nice, um, nice good ones, and then like I have. So I got three brown ones now. Then I got this. Then I got this little one. It may not be the scale, but it looks pretty nice all the same. And then of course I got my baggage car. So it so it can make up very nice and long fish trains, or not, or just you know, box cars and or just box cars in general. In fact, I think I need to buy another baggage car because this. I mean, while this one does look a little bit out of place next to these four, but still, oh well. So yeah. So guys, without further ado, that's um pretty much it. On these um, custom box cars, I'm very proud of them, um, and yeah, they'll probably and they'll be seen, of course, in future videos, of course. So, without further ado, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, see all new upcoming videos. Follow me on my Twitter and Instagram to see more projects in the future. Make sure to um, subscribe to my second channel, Use Engine Eleven Productions. So, without further ado. This is Useful Engine 11 signing out, and take care everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video.